Hi, this is Gali Gofar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about TMAO and its effects on your health. For decades, science has been showing that what we eat plays a vital role in our heart health. In the past four years, the details of this complex connection between the gut and the heart are in focus. The gut microbiome consists of trillions of microbes that reside in the gastrointestinal tract and influence health by helping us digest food, produce vitamins that also regulate our immune system and provide protection against disease-causing microorganisms. The Cleveland Clinic researchers have reported findings from several studies that our gut microbiome directly changes the function of blood platelets influencing the risk for stroke and heart attack. So how does this whole thing work? When we ingest certain nutrients such as choline, which is abundant in red meat, dairy products and egg yolks, and L-carnitine, which is found in red meat and in some energy drinks, the gut bacteria that helps break these down produces a compound called trimethylamine. After this, our liver converts trimethylamine into an artery-clogging compound called trimethylamine N-oxide or TMAO for short. In high levels, di uh, TMAO directly contributes to a heightened risk for clot-related incidents such as stroke or a heart attack. In a study done in 2016, scientists showed that high levels in the blood of TMAO, they are associated with higher rates of premature death in a group of 2,235 patients with coronary artery disease. Those patients who had higher levels of imethylamine and oxide had four times greater risk of dying from any cause over the next five years. TMAO changes cholesterol metabolism and contributes to the accumulation of cholesterol within the artery walls. A study uh, done in January of 2017 has found that high levels of TMAO in the blood is a, a key danger indicator among people who end up in the emergency room with chest pain. Doctors are now starting to recognize that TMAO levels are an important biomarker for heart disease, just as high cholesterol levels and troponin T are. Even if you have low cholesterol levels or low blood pressure, high imethylamine and oxide levels will point to an increased risk for heart disease. Our digestive tract is packed with trillions of bacteria and the balance of this complex ecosystem is vital for our health. Some of the bacteria feed on choline and carnitine. These nutrients are plentiful in meat, dairy and eggs. Lamb and beef are the most dangerous since they contain anywhere from 50 to 160 milligrams of carnitine per serving, compared to around 3 to 8 milligrams in seafood, chicken, pork and high dairy high fat dairy products the 2016 study showed that when vegans would eat a steak they would produce virtually no tmao and this is because carnitine is used only by specific intestinal bacteria as a food source and vegans don't have these microbiome these microbes in their microbiome so they don't digest carnitine and no trimethylamine is produced. Our kidneys are also vulnerable to TMAO, according to a study done with more than 3,500 subjects. They had normal kidneys, uh, but high TMAO levels, and this was associated with chronic kidney disease and higher mortality rates in the span of five years following the study. Now, good nutrition makes all the difference. When you consume a diet that is high in choline and carnitine, it will encourage the growth of bacteria that feeds on them, and this will lead to production of more trimethyl trimethylamine by this bacteria, which will arrive in the liver to produce more TMAO in the body, leading to more damage. A plant-based dietary approach that rarely includes animal foods or a maximum level of once a week is instead rich in plant-based proteins such as legumes 
and is rich in fiber will foster a healthy gut microbiome. And this proves to be the best and most effective way to substantially reduce the risk of developing any vascular connected disease. So I hoped you liked this video. I hoped it was helpful. I hope it was helpful. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.